Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been requested by a few of you and I realized that I haven't actually made a lot of content on this topic, even though I do have some experience now, especially since it's been a year. I did write a blog post about this whole thing a while back. So this video is sort of a recap of that blog post, but I know a lot of you don't really read blog posts anymore. So in case you haven't read that, then I wanted to share these tips with you here today. So today we're going to be talking all things style when it comes to entering parenthood. And I'm sure some of you have some challenges and you'd like some advice on how to fix these challenges. So these tips are for those of you who maybe plan to get children at some point, or maybe you have children in your life already. Whether you're a new parent or you have been for some times, I'm sure many of you can recognize the feeling of entering somewhat of a style rut when you enter this phase of your life. So you enter a phase of life where you're exposed to next level stains. And I'm not just speaking about the stains that your children might get on their clothes you will also get stains on your own clothes. Excessive wear is another thing you might have experienced. I myself personally have a pair of jeans that I wore all throughout my maternity leave and they now have busted knees on both of the legs because you spend so much time on the floor when you have little ones in your life. You might also just not feel like yourself anymore. You don't really you don't really feel like the clothing that you have in your wardrobe right now represent the person that you are becoming or that you've become. So if you feel this way, try looking at it in a wider perspective. Not only has your body changed after going through pregnancy, you have most likely also become a new version of yourself. You have other priorities now, your focus is a completely other place than it was before. And it's in general much more outside of yourself now than it was before. You're probably in sleep deprivation as well and you often feel tired. So part of your wardrobe may no longer fit you, whether that being physically or psychologically. So it's quite natural that you just don't feel like your wardrobe is representing who you are and that you feel like you're in a style rut and that you just don't feel like yourself anymore. And it's also natural that you have a hard time putting together stylish outfits that represent you. So the most important thing when it comes to building a functional yet stylish and long-lasting wardrobe is that your wardrobe should be an extension of you. So it has to kind of merge with your personality and your lifestyle. And I think that we probably all want to hit that sweet spot when it comes to personal style where we feel like the best version of ourselves and that we feel well-dressed and comfortable every day while being able to be present in the moment, especially when you have children. And yes, I am actually saying that the right clothes has the power to make you feel this way. So with that long introduction, let's have a look at the five style tips for new parents that I wanted to share with you today. So no matter what the reason for not feeling comfortable with your wardrobe, right now is, then the first thing you want to do is to make a wardrobe analysis. So you make an analysis of your current situation and the clothes that you wear on repeat right now. So an effective way to complete a wardrobe analysis is, like I just said, to have a look at the clothes that you wear most right now. So you point out the common denominators of this clothing and then build on from there. So it might not hit the spot completely style-wise for you right now. Maybe you'd like it to be even more stylish. Don't worry too much about that because we can always add on to that later. If you'd like some more tips on how to find your current style, then I do have a video guide, which I will link for you right here. When you know the basic common denominators of your style, your current style, it's a lot easier to build on top of that. And then again, move closer to that person that you actually dream to be. Basically, you don't have to get rid of all of the clothes that you don't feel like represent you right now or that somehow don't fit you or your lifestyle, whether that being your body or just your new everyday life. But I definitely advise you to remove this kind of clothing from your wardrobe. If you have room for it, definitely store it away so it doesn't distract you and so that you only have clothes in your wardrobe that you 
you're actually able to wear. Then you can always review it again at a later time because it might come in handy some other time during your life. If you need more tips on decluttering, make sure to check out lesson one of my online style masterclass. There's also a client case in there so you get a practical example of how you can have success with the wardrobe analysis and declutter and also how you can build a personal image mood board so that again you make sure that the person you dream to be through your style kind of merges with who you are and the life that you're living. So let's talk about stains for a moment. So a trick I often use, especially on white clothes, is to wash it and then lay it out in the sun for a few hours. And this works like magic. Like I can't tell you how many stains I've gotten rid of by doing this. And the sun really is the best natural stain remover. So if you haven't tried this already, definitely give it a go. I've gotten stains like tomato stains of white t-shirts this way. So it really is super effective. Something else you could do is obviously also to completely try and avoid stains. Save your sort of light colored clothes and very delicate items for a day where the little hands can't reach them or where the risk of getting stains is significantly lower. Instead, you could try wearing clothes in colors where stains are a lot less visible or at least easier to remove. So I usually wear my better, more stylish clothes on days where I'm heading to work and the little one is in daycare. And then I tend to change into something a bit more practical when we get home if I'm wearing a really delicate light colored sweater like what I'm wearing today. Or maybe simply put on an apron, especially if we're cooking or if we're having dinner. Like in the good old days, just a protective apron that really works wonders as well. So it's natural that your body changes and evolves through life. This is not just something that happens in connection with a pregnancy, it happens to everyone. The great thing about clothing is that we can actually use it as a tool to conceal or reveal. To me, the most important thing is that comfort and personal style aligns. It's not about trying to achieve this unrealistic thin ideal or having to look a certain way. It's all about creating visual balance while feeling comfortable in what we wear. So it's really important to me to say that although you can dress for different body shapes, this is also something that I give lectures on through my online style masterclass. It's really important for me to emphasize that all bodies are beautiful and these tools should only be used if you really feel like you have some challenges and if you wish to dress in more visually balanced harmony with your body. So I have some tips on finding the right clothes that fit and I will put them right here on the screen for you so you can pause the video, take a screenshot, note them down, whatever suits you. But it's really important to take some time to have a look at these things if you want to make sure to find clothes that fit your new body, your new life and that is also comfortable. question I often receive is what to do with clothes that you no longer fit. And again, like I just mentioned before, I would definitely advise you to take these clothes out of your wardrobe. Don't get rid of them just yet. Definitely take them out of your wardrobe so that you only have the things you can actually wear left or so that it's more clear to you what gaps you might have in your wardrobe. From a sustainability perspective, it can sometimes make sense to save these kinds of clothes instead of getting completely rid of them. Sometimes you You'll discover that your weight fluctuates or maybe you have a pregnancy coming up again maybe you plan to to expand the family further then it's nice to be able to still have these clothes at hand so you don't have to buy them all again both a lot more budget friendly but definitely also better for the environment to do it this way so try to go for designs that you can both use now and that you can also use later, preferably with things that you already have in your wardrobe so that it's easy for you to implement them. And again, so that you can wear them with what you already have. Through my pregnancy, I wore, you know, basically all of my tops, most of my tops anyways, especially the more soft ones like knitwear, t-shirts and various different jersey kinds of materials or oversized tops. I wore jackets 
And then I just invested in a few maternity bottoms so that I could wear those with what I already had. And that allowed me to sort of feel like I stayed true to my style throughout most of my pregnancy. And I didn't feel like I had to buy a whole lot of new things to actually feel that way. So that definitely, you know, made a huge difference in terms of still feeling like myself, even though my body was changing a lot. Another clever thing about investing in a few maternity bottoms is that you can then wear them after your pregnancy. Um, I think I wore my maternity jeans for around four months before I was able to fit comfortably into normal jeans again. So they really come in handy for, you know, a lot of your pregnancy and also a lot of the time after giving birth. Having said that, you know, a changing body and not being able to fit your clothes physically is one thing. Another thing is not being able to fit them mentally or psychologically as well. Psychologically, your clothes can become outdated when you enter a new phase of your life and you feel like the wardrobe and the style that you had before, it no longer represents who you are. My own style has also evolved just a little bit after I became a mom. I feel like it's definitely become a little bit more mature and a little bit more classic than it was before. If you'd like to know more about that, then I actually talked about this in my latest autumn capsule video. So another challenge you might experience when you enter parenthood is to find chic nursing friendly clothes. So there are many brands that offer both maternity wear and nursing friendly clothes. But I feel like the selection of brands that make these kinds of clothes under ethical standards are very few, especially brands where, you know, I've personally felt like it also represented my style. So for me, what made most sense was to go for secondhand options. You know, we use maternity wear for such a short amount of time that it often has a lot of wear left in it even after a pregnancy. So I've also stored it away because you never know, maybe I can sell it on to someone else. To me though, it also very much came down to making peace with the fact that it's all temporary. Being pregnant and the whole nursing experience afterwards, it's all such a magical time. It just flies by so quickly and it's temporary. So if you don't feel like yourself right now, maybe that can give you some comfort to just know that, you know, it's temporary and you will definitely feel more like yourself again at some point. So that's why it made sense to kind of place my focus elsewhere than within my style. I actually just made peace with the fact that through my maternity leave, I just wore the same old jumper, the same old jeans that I, those with the busted knees that I mentioned before. And then I just didn't look like my best self through that period of my life and I was fine with that. But you know, you might feel differently, but to me it definitely made me feel a lot more present and a lot more calm to just make peace with the fact that this is just me right now and this is how I look right now and it's okay. I'm just here, I'm enjoying the time with the little one and at some point I will be able to wear more normal clothes again. And knowing that, you know, that I would be able to look more stylish again at some point, it definitely gave me some, some comfort. If you do decide to invest in some maternity wear, then make sure that you buy some that could maybe also be used as nursing wear afterwards. So something that's kind of like a two in one. It all of course depends on your style, but dresses that have buttons or that have a wrap effect that you can easily open is definitely an option. It's also really important to invest in some nursing bras that have good support, but that are also not too tight. But I would definitely advise you to wait buying these until after you give birth. And I'm speaking bitter experience here. You can't really say in advance how your whole nursing experience and whole process is going to be and you can't really say what size bra you'll be needing so I'll definitely advise you to wait with the you know purchasing these until after giving birth so I use some specific nursing bras from the sustainable uh, brand called boob and I loved those they were great um, I had one in black and I had one in a rose color so that I was able to wear them the rose colored one was great under the lighter items so slightly see-through items and then the black one was great for sort of like an all round purpose, really. Besides that, and I've mentioned this a couple of times before, I bought some nursing friendly tops as well, also from Boob. 
um, and they were great because um, I could just wear them underneath all of my tops. I didn't buy any um, specific nursing friendly clothes actually. I only bought these nursing bras and then these nursing tops because then I was able to just wear these tops underneath all of my regular tops and the cool thing about them was that when I lifted up in my blouse my belly was still covered in fabric and then it was easy to just lift the part up here to get access to my nursing bra and that made the whole nursing experience especially especially if I was out and about a lot more effortless. And then again, it made a huge difference to me that I was actually just able to wear whatever I already had in my wardrobe. I didn't have to buy a whole lot of specific nursing friendly clothes. And then lastly, of course, it also allowed me to not feel like I compromised all too much with my style because I could just wear my normal wardrobe pretty much if you tend to wear dresses mostly then that's of course a whole other talk especially if you give birth during the summertime then again i would definitely advise you to look for dresses that have a wrap effect or that have buttons or something that gives you easy access and that makes the whole nursing experience a lot more effortless I'm full-time back to work and I definitely feel a lot more like myself than I did, you know, the first couple of weeks after giving birth or, you know, the last couple of months of my pregnancy. So definitely be kind to yourself because you're doing the best you can. If I could say one thing to myself right after giving birth to a daughter and I had absolutely no idea who I was anymore, it would be to take it easy. Because even if everything changes and your whole life gets turned upside down, you're still in there somewhere. And what at first feels like a huge upheaval will end up feeling like normal everyday life at some point. So you will feel a lot more like yourself again at some point. And especially once things calm down, you will definitely feel a lot more like yourself. And this whole new chapter of your life that you've just entered will feel a lot more like a, a natural extension of yourself somehow. So as described in this video, it's only natural that your style changes through different phases of your life, whether that is something like moving, getting a new job or becoming a parent. And it's therefore vital to create some sort of a balance between who you actually actually are right now and who you dream to be. I'm not telling you exactly what you should or shouldn't wear in this video because I'm not here to tell you what to wear. I'm here to give you inspiration and help you gain more knowledge through your own process of working with your personal style. I really hope this video gave you some inspiration on finding your way back to your own style core and also just your own as a person and then of course how you can approach and fix the challenges that you're facing right now through this new exciting chapter of your life. If you need even more help and accountability then make sure you check out my online style masterclass. I will leave a link for that down below. I will also soon be offering one-to-one -one sessions. There will be in-person meetings for people living in Denmark of course but also online meetings conducted virtually. So keep an eye out for those if you need even more help in developing your own personal style. With that, thank you all so much for spending a bit of your day with me here today. Take care and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.